Salutations. Welcome to another episode of Around Campus. I'm the host and the lifestyle specialist, Adrian Sutton. And today's topic we, with our guest is about teaching and climate change. So we'd like to bring to the show Dr. Ming Chin Guo. Thank you Hi. for coming today. Thank you for the opportunity. All right. So can you tell us a little bit about this teaching program? Yes. Uh, these days, climate change is getting hot. Uh, climate change is occurring and it's generating a disastrous effect on the whole human being society. Mm -hmm. And it is mainly caused by greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels. Because the problem is global, therefore it requires the, all the human individuals, the whole world people to take actions to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and to reduce the climate change effect. Therefore, the federal government decided to investigate those federal funds to educate the general public uh, with the science and the knowledge of climate change. So can engage them uh, in their daily life to take actions, uh, try to reduce the climate change effect. In year 2011, Delaware State University received a grant from NASA, National Astronic, Astronic and uh, Space Administration. Uh, the funding agency awarded Delaware State U University a grant of around $570,000 for two and a half years to prepare science education educators, mainly precepts teachers, with the climate change literacy through problem-based teaching and learning. And this is a collaborative effort among Delaware State University, North Carolina Central University, University of Delaware, and NASA Goddard Flat Space Center. Last year was the first year of the project, and uh, we what, developed. What's the name? What's the name of the project? Oh, the the project uh, is entitled as preparing science educators with climate change literacy okay. through problem-based teaching and learning. Oh. The title is quite long, <laughs> <laughs> but it has its content. All right, and so you're working with students from the school, well, students and education majors, and who wants to be science teachers, correct? That's correct. We are working on the science education students. In the meanwhile, we are also going to go to middle school and high school schools to teach the in-service science teachers. Okay. And this is the first time this program has been here at Delaware State University, right? That's correct. This is our first uh, initial efforts to, through, through the general public education system, to educate people with climate change science. And if a student here at Delaware State University wants it, wanted to be involved in this program, how would they go about it? Uh, there are a lot of opportunities. They can take classes. They can participate in symposiums, seminars, and they can also take advantage of the climate change libraries we established through the project. And there's like no like specific office that they would go to to sign up for the program, or would you guys like reach out to them? Uh, there, uh, the project investigated uh, investigators, and uh, we are coming out to reach the students. All right. Um. So, so, can you give us some quick tips to like to students that's not necessarily education majors, or uh, that that want to help with this cause of the climate of the climate effect? Like what's like some five tips you could do to like to save the world when it comes to global warming? Yes, and mainly by changing your lifestyle. Okay. Save energy, and uh, for example, drive less, cycling, and uh, reduce the daily consumptions. Turn off those electronics when they are idle, and turn off the lights when they are not necessary. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Graf, for coming in. Thank you so much. 
And once Up again, this, this was here. another episode of Around Campus. Good evening. Thank you.